If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I, I got, got 99, 99 problems, problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rap for two. Okay, so my night two was, uh... I approached it a little bit differently. I looked looked at um, first the acoustic set, those songs that I, I knew would translate well over into an acoustic form. Of the Girl being number one, I, I liked having, you know, the three O's first, like Of the Girl, Oceans, and Off He Goes. I wanted, like, you know, goose eggs, like, out of the gate. Um, but those three together, I, I've always loved hearing them acoustic. I think moving from that that into Thin Air, which I, again, off binaural, I, it's one of my favorite songs. It's a beautiful acoustic song. It's written acoustic, which translates so well. Um, Low Light was the next one yeah, that I wanted to include. Song. And then uh, Light Years was another, you know. Uh, so Thin Air, I think, was, um, was Thin Air off Yield or, or binaural? can't remember. I will tell you in one second. I think it's keep binaural. Going. Keep going. Light years. Binaural. Yeah, so, yeah, so. Um, then light years. Uh, his light years was yield. Dude, you're testing me. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> stretched right now. I always get those two confused, but I think they're they're both I, you know, I, strong. I think, yeah, light years is off binaural as well. Yeah, so both of those, I like, I, I love, I've seen very few songs off of binaural. I love both of those. I, I want to hear them um, in an acoustic set, followed by All or None, and then go ahead and knock off Black, get it out of the way. Good. And that, that's my acoustic set. I want it to be, you know, the chill set, kind of like in the, they did in um, 2003 in uh, Boston. Yeah. I wanted to have the same kind of feel from that, you know, eight song uh, kind of intro set, the, the opening act. Okay. Any thoughts on that? No, I mean, it's it's solid. I mean, the, the, the only other thing, like, which we differed on was I would have loved to have seen, like, one Eddie Vedder song, yeah. like, whether it's from Into the Wild or yeah. know, something else. I mean, And you and I, yeah, again, this is like, where... Like, we, we just, I mean, like, we're different in that. I mean, like, I, I put society in mind, but, uh, no, I mean, we both have oceans yep. in there. Um, you know, I, I, I like all, you know, it'd be interesting hearing black, you know, acoustically. Yep. So, uh, no, again, it's... it's there's no no complaints from me. I mean, it's not like you put Bush in there yeah. or something like that. <laughs> that I mean, like, you know, otherwise we're I talking about dream show, yeah, not no, shit yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, 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 you know, here's where I think that you probably you, you come up with a strong, uh, a more solid night two than I do. Um, this is these, these are very standard acoustic songs. You took a much different approach. Like, all right, what do I want to hear played acoustic? And I think that that. I would rather see your acoustic show than. I don't know. Other girl would be interesting to hear acoustically. I've yeah. never heard that. I mean, so. it, it's it's written that way, but um, it's it's a good one. Uh, main set. I wanted to take a cue from the live at the Gorge. Uh, I believe it's the the first song of the July 26th show, Severed Hand. Coming out to that song, I love that song. It's a little bit cheesy and it's rock and roll, like you know, just just forthcomingness. But I love that as an intro song. Out of the gate, boom. Okay. And then one of your least favorite songs, I know this, Glorify G, but it's one of my favorite I, songs I, off by oh, Dog. I, I rarely say this. I hate this song. Yeah. All right. I mean, I just so I, do they, I, I, I do not like Glorify G. Okay. So uh, that's one, you know, I guess one song. And maybe because, like, you know, as you were saying, you played the piss out of this song in high school. Yeah. You know, so I, I just don't like this song. I hate Pearl Jam, Peter. No, no. This Pearl Jam sucks. This is the only song that, like, I can literally... That there's there's very few I do not like this song. That's it. That's all. Yeah, okay. Like, I, I I actually love this one, but you know, again, this is where like we're all right. So then so there. you go from like so I go from I like I like Severn Hand though. Yeah. All right. And then you like okay, you play your crap song, and then you're like going right into animal. go go into animal right after that, and then I go into Force of Nature, which I think is a, a, a again oh. very similar to like Severed Hand, and it's just you know straightforward rock. Yeah. But I love this one. Well, I, I like it how you, how you you know sort of then go Force of Nature into your next song. Yeah, Lightning Bolt. Force That's of cool. Nature cool. to That's Lightning cool. Bolt, That's which cool. is you know yeah. nature, or, you know, corduroy, and then Insignificance. I you know I love Insignificance, and I actually like this one kind of in the middle of the set, where okay, this is this is dark, you know, like this is really hard to like to for them to really rock out very well, and I've never heard like a like 
100% studio, crisp, insignificant song. Okay. But I love that song off of, again, Binaural. So, um, then Can't Deny Me. We got to check the box there. And, you know, got to get the uh, Trump hate out, uh, uh, you know, early. I, I actually like Can't Deny Me. I mean, you know, with, with you? I think it's, uh, you know, it's it's a surprise. It's a surprise. I mean, I really want to see what they're going to come up next with this, this new album. We'll see in 2019 or 2020. <laughs> like, you know, I'm going to get, you know, Dre's <laughs> Detox in the Pearl Jam new album. But, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, then you know, can't deny me. And then faithful. I love faithful. I, I like faithful too. Um, and then sonic reducer. Oh, okay. Now this is you know sonic reducer this early in the set. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, I, I, I thought it was it was a worthy addition. Now this bold. Is one. It's bold. Yeah, this one I didn't I didn't see on any of yours, but I love this song off of Yield uh, Pilot. Like pilot, I have. I mean, it's it's an aim it song, and it's but it's it interesting. You go faithful, you know, like sort of like mid slow, fast. Yep. To mid slow again. Pilot's not a well. Pilot is it starts slow, but it is a My pilot. You know, I mean, it's a it's a, it's all right. I love that song live, and then yeah. I you know I got to throw Leatherman in, in there. Love Leatherman. Yep. Yeah. So then I get given the fly out of the way. And then I wanted, I, I, I'm surprised, I've never seen a single song off of the Avocado album. So I want Life Wasted. I've got to get Life Wasted out, out there. So, um, and then my second um, repeat song, which is just like yours, yeah. Do the Evolution. You have to have that every Pearl Jam show. I'd rather have that than, than Even Flow. I'd rather have that than Alive. I want Do the Evolution. This is my choir. Yep. Hallelujah. Yep. And then I get Porch because that's got to be your closer before the encore break. And so after the encore break, I want like I want the fans on fire again before the special guest comes out. So you got to throw blood down. Okay. And then and then I bring out my special guest, which again, if you if you see this uh, video, the song the performance isn't that great, but the idea of Jay Z and Pearl Jam on the stage together, 99 problems. I have to have that. If you have a gun problems, I back you son. I got. I gotta admit, I never heard the song before yeah. because I guess like, you know, and you know, I watched the video after we were talking about this. Yeah. And I love this song. Yeah. I love this performance. I love, you know, everything that like, you know, like this is awesome. So I love it so much that I'm like going on to like Pearl Jam, seeing, hey, can I buy this song? This is not, you know, on their bootlegs. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a vault. I don't know of anything else. But the only place you can get it is off YouTube. Yep. And it rocks. Yeah, it's I mean, a good one. Like, you know, and the funny thing is, is like, you know, Amens and Vetter, they all have this like, just, you know, get, you know, like smile on their face. Like this crowd has no idea what's about to happen. Yep. And then, you know, you know. They haven't played a rap song since uh -huh. they did that bullshit with Cypress Hill, like back in the 90s. And like, <laughs> this redeemed them. Judgment <laughs> Night. It's <laughs> so bad. All right. <laughs> so then, so then I go into like uh, no code, which yeah. I'm not a huge no code fan uh, um, yeah. for live stuff, but I, I love Hail Hail. And no, then, I, I love. I, I, it's in my top five songs. I mean, I love it. And then I I pick State of Love and Trust because I do again. I think it's a great live song. It's not one of my favorite live songs, but I was trying to get the ones that I really wanted to hear out of the gate. And then MFC. I can't believe you didn't have you know MFC in, in yours. But Dude, I think it's a great I, I live blew, look, I'll always. say this: you also put can't deny me. You put all these requirements, and you know, I mean, like I, I can only do so much. Yeah. I mean, I, it's and this, this is where it's it's really interesting where you see you know what you have to hear live and the, the different t perspectives on it. So like this one's one that I love hearing. Live. It's a great live uh, translation. Um, and then we get into my second encore break, which I only have two on night two. So this is where like, I can kind of buck the trend. But then I go into Alone, which is one of my other like favorite, top two favorite B-sides by Pearl Jam. Alone is, hands down, one of the coolest uh, B-sides they never released. Should have been a uh, top, top, you know, five single. Like it should have been one. Of, it should have been on ten. And then he got. Uh, and then then a, the the Beatles cover, but it is a recorded version. I got a feeling. 
which is, uh, you know, it's a good one. You you got to hear it. At I, I, I did. It just like you know the the only thing that was different about our sets is like. I feel like you're, you know, yours is like slowly like winding down. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I got a feeling it's like a wind down type song, it right? Is. I, no, I don't know. I got a feeling. It's, it's a unique song. You know, it's, 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 it's a wind down song. I mean, like. Yeah, it is, it is a, uh, night two was not as high octane as night one yeah, of my dream okay. set list. Okay. Um, and then, you know, finishing the last two requirements, Alive and Yellow Led Better. I think it's a, you know, that we saw it in, uh, I think, Music Midtown. Those were our last two. We're Alive and Yellow Led Better. And we got rocking in the free world. Oh, we got rocking in the free world. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get uh, the, the standard. We yeah, you got the standard. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's we, got the, we got the Team B. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, I mean, we're just looking at yours in retrospect, right? I mean, Severn Hand, love. Like I already talked about Glorified G. Yeah, that's a wasted song for like a dream set list, dude. Uh, and then, it, and then you got no, your Force of Nature, Lightning Pole, that was cool. Uh, I do like the Sonic Reducer, a little early for Sonic Reducer, but you're all right, you know. Um, Given to Fly, Life Wasted, Do the Evolution, Forge, dude, 99 Problems, incredible. All right, like to me, that was like the highlight of your show, and then you go Hail, Hail, Stand of Love and Trust, but your encore break, too, man. You know, I'm not trying to be too tough on you, but man, you just like wound it down. Or dream set list, you like, you know, like you went like, maybe went I, out, yeah, you know, didn't go out with a bang, you went out with a whimper. Fair enough, we have requirements, <laughs> so like, this is where, yeah, I think that he, like, I can't, I can't argue with his set list whatsoever, like, night one or night two. This is where, like, I I don't argue with you in that point. I don't know if I did it the, the best way that I could, but um, I did get like in night two the songs that I wanted to hear. That's cool. No, I mean like in all and the sorts order, of, the order probably and needs it's, and, and it's, it's always like you know like a posters or anything else. Like it's always what you want to hear. This yeah. is your night night two set list. So it's a B but, minus. It's a B minus. I think it's like a B minus. That's a misses. It's, it, no, we got more. I mean, look. I mean, if I look at my night two set list, I'm like it's like rocker, 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 rocker. You go. You know, rocker, rocker. You know, and then you go. Okay, we're gonna like slow down. You got. It's more methodical. It's more. I mean, like it might, it might be more like. Yeah, you know, it's more realistic. It's more realistic. Yeah. I mean, so I think if we saw like any of like my night one or your two set lists, I think that Eddie Vedder would probably like be in a casket. Because, oh, I, I think. I mean, I think <laughs> you literally would like want to throw a brick at my head or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, if, if they didn't release it on a DVD, it would be like a travesty. I think that my my night two probably does need some work. Anyway, <laughs> and there you have it: the two dream set lists from the two brothers. Uh, two nights of wet would be the best shows for each of us. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed the experiment and the uh, the the test, and hope you guys did too. Anyway, this is 15 days and counting.